Hey, what's up everyone? Little Thomas here, bringing you the behind the scenes video for Fox Thief. After finishing both Ocean Monument and Lost Thief, I was debating whether to even do a third Alex Steve animation right away, instead of taking a break to do something a bit more original. However, after seeing just how well my last two animations performed, and realizing I still had a bunch of ideas left around after Lost Steve, it seemed right just to finish the year off doing one more Alex and Steve. A lot of this planning occurred while I was still planning Lost Steve, so I'm actually missing a fair bit. <laughs> I brainstormed quite a few Alex Steve animations, and eventually I decided to adapt an old animation that I'd cancelled years ago, Mineral Thief, which is um, a running meme in BPS these days. The original idea was a random miner would get his minerals stolen by Derp, but I adapted it into Alex Steve, and instead of Derp, I decided to include a fox. The fox was originally a concept going to be used in Skyfall's Woodland Mansion animation. The plan was to include the same fox that cameoed in Village Raid to help Alex Steve raid the Woodland Mansion, and afterwards the fox would become Alex's counterpart, like the wolf is to Steve. However, when Woodland Mansion was cancelled, we just continued adding small cameos for the fox here and there. After realizing the fox can pick up items in Minecraft and carry it around its little mouth, I decided to adapt my Mineral Thief idea to incorporate the same fox from Village Raid. However, I couldn't come up with a reason as to why the fox would steal minerals from Alex Steve. It seemed a bit weird, like, the fox wouldn't eat the minerals, would he? After a while, I decided to forego the mineral part of the animation and instead have the fox steal newly planted berries to feed her baby fox, although the story afterwards was originally quite different. Instead of running off into the forest, the fox would have run down into Alex Steve's mineshaft underneath their house, and instead of pillagers, they would have just been attacked by normal mobs and cave spiders and stuff like that. The mother fox would have eventually sacrificed herself to save the baby fox, and Alex would have later adopted the baby fox. However, this ending seemed a bit too dark for an Alex Steve animation. Not only that, but Alex Steve's house is beginning to get a bit crowded as it is. Not only do they have a wolf, they now have a horse from Lost Steve. So, it seemed a bit weird adding yet another four-legged character to the family. Not to say that that can't happen in the future. Maybe I can revisit this idea of Alex adopting the baby fox in a later animation, but we'll have to wait and see. So instead I changed the ending to have both foxes survive. After I decided the mother would survive, I decided to change the color of the baby fox, just to differentiate himself from the mother if one day they end up coming back into an Alex Steve animation and the baby fox is all grown up. It'd be hard to distinguish who's who if the mother's still alive and the uh, baby fox is full size. The pillager aspect came pretty late into planning once I'd scrapped the mineral idea. The idea of the pillagers were that these were very specific pillagers. They weren't just your regular ragtag of pillagers. Instead, they were specifically after berries. They were taking all the berries from anywhere they could find, which was the reason why the fox had to steal berries from Alex and Steve. The pillagers had taken them all, and the fox couldn't find any berries for her baby. I did all the set design myself this time, since there wasn't really much building needed. I didn't need any massive jungle temples or anything like that. Just a small pillager outpost, which I felt like I could do myself. The hardest part for me was building the TNT crane, as I was trying to make it fit the Minecraft pillager aesthetic and not look completely unrealistic in Minecraft, despite, you know, there's no cranes in Minecraft. Then I needed some rigs. The fox rig was made by one of our riggers, Phoenix209, with slight alterations made by me for the baby fox, just scaling it down and making the head a bit bigger. Our pillager rig is an updated version of our V3 rig, edited by Skyfall to have chunkier heads. I then took the rig and edited the eyebrows to make them look more pillager-like. Although bending the eyebrows can look a bit strange, that's why I didn't do so in the final animation. The download link for both these rigs can be found in the description and in our new assets channel on our Discord server. In terms of animation, there's not much to say this time around. Animation was pretty straightforward and was going well until the final few weeks of production when I became increasingly busy in my personal life, while also having a lot of motivation issues. I was still animating on Friday, and I still had to do all the music and sound, so I worked through the night and right up until 2pm on Saturday to ensure the Fox Thief was ready for early access, and I made it. I do enjoy making these Alex Steve animations, however, I won't lie that I enjoy creating more original animations far more, like my Battle Royale series, which had interesting character stories, stakes, etc. I think doing three Alex and Steve animations in a row without any breaks to work on something more original took a bit of a toll on me. 
When animation was complete, it was time to find all the music. Like Lost Steve, I decided to continue my approach with animation first, then finding the music afterwards, rather than animating to certain music tracks. However, unlike Lost Steve, where I still had a few tracks animated to, I managed to animate the entirety of Fox Thief with zero music. A positive as it sped up production a ton, however the downside was finding tracks that fit the animation which was a bit challenging. I don't particularly like reusing tracks that we've already used in our animations, however we've pretty much used all that Epidemic has to offer at this point. <laughs> I got incredibly lucky with most of the tracks, however if I could change any track it would be the one at the Pillager Outpost. I was trying to find a very heroic song and I just couldn't. The track I used was the only track that sort of fit that scene, even though it really didn't. Sound design was fairly easy, only taking around 4-5 to five hours to get finished. With some mixing tweaks and no editing issues thanks to my switch to DaVinci Resolve, screw you Premiere, Fox Thief was ready to upload. Thank you for watching the Fox Thief behind the scenes video, and I hope you enjoyed the main animation as well as the bloopers. If you want to know what music I used for this animation, check out the animation soundtrack video linked at the end screen and in the description. Now if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I've got some cyberpunk to play.